All right, guys, Mamba here again for another deck profile. We are here with my updated Dragon's Y deck. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, okay, uh, starting off, the buddy is going to be four Black Sun Deity Ozzy the Haka Daeva. Uh, this card is just one of my favorite cards in the game. Um, pay three, put two cards from your field to the drop zone. Um, when he attacks a monster, you pay life, and he can restand as many times as you want to pay life. And as long as you have a valid target to battle, um, when he dies, you can take. When he's destroyed, you take two damage. You can take two damage to add any card from your deck to your hand. This card, um, so you just attack opponents' monsters, and then they can boot shield it. But then you can just keep attacking until they run out of resources. One of the uh, one of my favorite cards in the game. I've always been a huge fan of Ozzy Dahaka. Next, we play four. I'm sorry about the y'all. I've lost place of my placement. Uh, we play four. We play four. Demonic Dragon Deity of the Black Sun Gaia. Uh, and we got one buddy rare. Thanks to our brother Joey from uh, one of the members of the channel. So this card is a this is a 12, 5, 15. Uh, crazy stats. Uh, he has the ability to that he can only be played if you have Dragon Dry as your flag. Um, while you're transformed to him, that he can't be destroyed, returned, and his abilities cannot be nullified. And the first turn that you transform into him, your opponent cannot draw cards at all during their uh, to during their next phase turn. So like no dr divine dragon creation, hide and oni, none of those cards can be triggered. And then uh, when he attacks, he automatically destroys all. So he has like the original Ozzy the Hawkins effect, except it's not an attack. He just automatically destroys them. And then uh, you can discard two size three or graders to gain five life. Uh, so and then the same in the one turn we're gonna talk about this as well. Uh, we play three draw. Um, it, this is gonna be your starting flag. Uh, you can put this in your deck if your flag initial flag is dragon Y. You can use all, uh, only dragon attribute. And if you become zero and you put this on top of your Y flag and you put all cards in your field into the drop zone and your life becomes five. So with this being released. This gives this deck a great new engine and gives us one of the most powerful uh, impact. Well, I'm sorry, item, monster, whatever you want to call it, in the game right now with this size 10 monster. The only downside I've seen so far is playtesting is that play a lot of people are my locals are playing bots and uh, prism dragons, and there's just counter says that we can't change our life. So that means this card it kind of just kills dry because we can't save ourselves. But other than that, the other tape play test that I've had is was giving me good results. Uh, four and three is good right now because our Daeva can search them out, and we play cards that like uh, that nullifies destruction and, and still gives us the ability to search. And we play soul guard cards, so four and three has been working fine for me. Um, I still have some more play testing to do. Uh, this is a tech one of, and this is Rescue Dragon Justice Drum. He is a 525 five, size 2, pay one gauge to call him. And he says when this card attacks and destroys your um, opponent's monster, if you, as long as you're transformed, he can restand. And the good thing about Keolia said is says that you transform into him. So this card works wonders. Um, it just lets you keep getting over stuff. With the 5 being the perfect number right now in Buddy Fight, because no defense is higher than that except Prism Dragons. So this card is really good at uh, letting us get multiple attacks in. Uh, next we have four uh, retainer of the demonic dragon destructor. He is your divine dragon creation as long as your flag is Y and on your turn when he's played you pay two life draw two. Uh, he's a two one one. Just hand advantage to getting us digging through the deck to get what we need. Next is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Uh, retainer of the demonic dragon Jovanas Zack. He's a 4-2-2, two, two, but we don't play him for his stats. We play him because you can put this card into a size 3 on the field, and it gives a soul guard. So like I said, it lets you tr trigger Diva's effect more often. It just lets us trigger Diva's effects more often and guarantees us um, the effect to search for the main cards we need. Next, we play for the new card that came out of the secret pack. Uh, it is Terminus Dragon Emperor uh, Edervelt. He, uh, if my flag is Y, he gets double attack. Then, if your flag is Dragon Dre, he gets move. And then, when this card is destroyed, put the top card of your deck into the gauge. It's six two six size three for free. When I had seen this card first in the uh, show, I thought it was terrible. But upon reading and seeing the plays made with this, this card is great to be free. Uh, six two six, no life link. 
this car just has a great body and can attack and while well, early on at the start of the matchup. Uh, next we play one Count Don. He is a uh, back uh, when we did the back profile before. I called this uh, Dra proud dad uh, Daiva because we play a lot of size zeros that stay on the board with them to help uh, get rid of annoyances and protect them. And Count Don is also good because you can pay a life to bring them back during your main phase, and this gives you something to target to drop Daiva if you don't have nothing right then and there. And a four one one is respectable enough to put in work for what we need. Uh, one uh, inverse Omni Lord Osmodi, pay, pay uh, two. Um, he has penetrate, uh, lifelink two. He has fifty thousand power, three crit, ten thousand. Um, when he's destroyed, you reveal the, build the top three, and you can call as many monsters as you want without paying a call cost, which means you can call Diaba for free. Uh, next, we can play two, two Walms, which is a counter I can discard this and give one of my cards plus 2,000 fence. Then if the card we gave it to is Daiva and I have no cards in my hand, he gets plus 30,000 defense. So that makes him a whopping uh, 45,000 which for that turn, which means he's mo he's untouchable in case of, like somebody has an Osmodi, I guess, would be the only thing that could hit that at that point. This card is wonderful, but we're testing that too because I don't like that it has to be the last card in hand. So it makes it a little less liable hit per se so at two right now that's what we're going to test it at and see how we go with it next is uh two uh, i'm sorry uh it's, we play four sun dragons total on this deck two being flare fang sd who if there's no monster in the center he gets plus three thousand so that makes him a five which uh, a lot of videos that you'll probably watch of joe's five and we say it here told us the game and five is the magic number mostly for defense wise right now except for like prism dragons and maybe jaeger so as long as they don't have a monster in the center he's plus three thousand um and then when a monster is destroyed by an effect or by any kind of way once per turn we can draw a card uh that is five for attack yeah five for attack and we get to draw a card uh so with diaba just pay life attack attack we're gonna get to draw at least one extra card which hand advantage has always been key in any deck i like to play which and then we have two Mirror Blade SD. This card is a 3 1 1. Uh, when a monster is destroyed by an effect or by a battle, gain a gauge, gain a life. Uh, just fuels Daeva, fuels gauge. Wonderful card. And we have three nullifying uh, Emperor Glacius. Pay a life, nullify if you have a size three on the board. Uh, this is just no, our basic nullifier to keep uh, from Daeva from dying until we're ready for him to. Three Retainer of the Demonic Dragon Fielder. Uh, build the top card if it's a dragon. I get to draw if it's anything else. Gain a life. This just lets us tutor through the deck with a 5 2 5. He's got a basic body. Mr. Gentleman Dragon. Uh, three of Ajidahaka's kit. Spawn of the Demonic Dragon Boos. He's a 2 2 2. But we don't plan for his stats because when he's put from the field, he just drops him. Or, so basically, by die of his cost, we gain a gauge. Then, if I have three or different world, more different worlds, I draw a card. Uh, just gauge and life. Uh, gain, I'm sorry, gauge and draw. Uh, just for paying Diaba's cost to summon him. Uh, we play three King Gora. He pitches two to gain two life. I mean, I'm sorry, he pitched him to gain two gauge as long as our flag is wide. This card is just helps our gauge engine. And three of the Mamba, known as Horn Serpent. Uh, at the end of this battle, you can return to your hand if you have a size three on the board. He gains one life. Uh, you gain one life. He's a 2 1 1, which means he doesn't hit a lot of things, but. That is okay, because we'll take that life that we can just use for another dive attack. Uh, three of the new cards from the God Pack. His Retainer, the Demonic Dragon, Devil Orb Dragon. Uh, his effect is you can discard from your hand. If you do, your flag, and if your flag is Y, uh, you will be dealt damage. It's reduced by three. If your flag is Dragon Dragon, you gain two life instead. Uh, this card is just a great no, uh, reduced damage until we're ready to die for, die, uh, for draw's effect. Uh, Three is working pretty good for me, if any more or any less. Uh, right now, we're not sure this is working. Two, Curse Dragon Jr. Uh, if I'm being attacked, uh, you can, I can discard a card from my hand. I, mean, I can discard this card from my hand to nullify the attack. We play two Daeva Searchers. Uh, just so we can make sure we have Daeva when we need them, so we can go into it. And two Vongs. Uh, pay a life, discard it, and keep my size three dragon from dying. So, 
this deck is really fun right now for me. Um, there's still some things we want to test and change. Uh, we're just we have to get to that point to where we're, we're, the deck is the way we want it to be. But I mean, I've been a huge fan of Keolia. He's one of my favorite characters, and I was glad he got such a big push. I'm glad he got such a big push last season. Uh, of course, he was you know he was going to lose, but all these cards make this deck really strong but it's not unbeatable especially with the new uh, decks and the new support they've gotten it makes this deck fair because you can still lose in a matchup against Thunder, Thunder Empire or Crystal Dragons it just depends on it depends on them having the impact that because it with they them shutting off this this makes this this possible and makes this deck one of the best possible so if they can nullify dry, then this deck is just dead. You're just basically sitting here like, well, I have all the pieces, but there's nothing I can do with them. And that's happened to me twice against uh, Trey, who's always on the channel with me playing. And Josiah, he they just had the impacts, and dry just became nothing but a useless piece of crap in my head. But it's all good, guys. Uh, thank you for watching uh, with us, and stay tuned for this week for a week load of videos and double, double days. Hopefully. Hopefully. And stay tuned. Thank you, guys.